Today I'm going to help you answer the question, does my car really need a new catalytic converter? Now catalytic converters do go bad on cars, but they're relatively expensive and you just don't want to guess. You want to test to see if it's really bad. And that's where this OTC exhaust back pressure gauge comes in very handy. Because when catalytic converters go bad, they clog up the exhaust system and build up way too much pressure. And you can easily test the pressure with this cool little gauge. You simply unbolt the oxygen sensor that's in front of the catalytic converter, then take it out of the hole, and in this case it's an older car, so you just push the gauge in with this rubber adapter to measure the pressure. And on newer cars where the oxygen sensor has a thread that screws the whole way in, you just use this little adapter that then screws in, and the tester screws into this. Then push it in the hole and start the car. And in this case, it was going between 6 and 5 PSI. It should be about a pound and a half. Anything over 3 shows it's really clogged up inside and the cat needs to be changed out. Because in a normal running car, the back pressure should only be 1.5 pounds too. And what's happening is this. Catalytic converters with the flashlight behind here have little honey cones in them, and they will clog up with burnt oil and stuff, and then the pressure builds up. And often the temperature gauge will run a little bit hotter because the exhaust gas they're staying in the engine too long, making it run hotter. Or the car will only go up to a certain speed and no further. Maybe it'll only go 40 miles an hour and it won't go past 40 miles an hour. But of course, there's many things that can make a car overheat or not go past a certain speed. That's why you want to check the back pressure to see if it's a catalytic converter first. But of course, realize things are never as simple as they seem. If you do have back pressure before the catalytic converter that's too high, you also need to check it behind the catalytic converter. Because if you find it still has high pressure behind the catalytic converter, then it's the muffler that's clogged up. But in this case, it only had one pound pressure after the cat, so it's the cat that was clogged up. If it would have had just as much pressure ten pounds after the cat, then the muffler would have been clogged up. And yes, realize that that can happen, because if a catalytic converter gets so bad, sometimes pieces of it will break off, then it'll go back and jam up and plug up the muffler too. Sometimes you have to change both the cat and the muffler if everything got clogged. But heck, using this gauge, you're not guessing anymore. You're going to be able to pinpoint where the problem is without just guessing with expensive parts. So the next time you think you might have a bad catalytic converter, or someone tells you they think it's bad, don't guess, test. And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. And I'll answer them as soon as I get done talking with this dolphin.